Now, in fact, without Aubameyang's goals, gents, as you can see, Arsenal would actually be in the relegation scraps by now, who have won 16 points for the Gunners. There's, there's, there's no argument on Aubameyang's impact for Arsenal, is there? Yeah, he's certainly um, he's, he's, he's made a statement about his contribution to the team. What I would say is that um, whilst he's scored all of those goals, his team have provided them for him as well. So he, he shouldn't forget that. Um, he's very important to the team. And I do understand the comparisons between him and Thierry Henry. Um, maybe it's a good time for him to get a new contract. Maybe that will open the door for other big players to come to the club because Arsenal have had um, quite a strict wage structure for some time now. And he's uh, reportedly asking for £300,000 We were just had the calculator out working <laughs> if uh, we could uh, live on that. <laughs> um, well, the truth is that if you want to replace Aubameyang at Arsenal with an equivalent striker, how much are you going to have to spend to buy him? 45 million? Yep. 60 million? I don't know. So if he wants 300,000 a week, that's 15 million a year. OK, if you sign him on a three year contract, that's going to cost you 45 million across the three years. Mm. But you've got to go and spend 45 million or 60 million to get a new one in anyway mm. and then pay wages. So economically, if Arsenal believe that Aubameyang is a good enough player, a good enough goal scorer for him, they must keep him. They must do everything they can to keep him. I think he's good enough. Look at the record. Mm. We've just seen it, haven't we? Um, so I think it's imperative that Arsenal keep Aubameyang. So, so how do they try to keep him, of course? Well, number one, as a player, you want to win things. Are Arsenal going to win things? First of all, you've got to convince him that Arsenal are going to win trophies. Um, and at the moment, they're a long way away from winning trophies. Look at their league position, for So example. if that's not an option on the table, how else can you try to convince a player? To I think it's the other players you sign as well. Yeah, yeah. possibly you know, how much you're prepared to pay him. That maybe helps, but I would think Aubameyang can get as much at another club, mm. which might actually see him also win trophies as well as get paid a king's ransom. Yeah, he has been linked with Inter and Barcelona as well. And let's face it, these clubs possibly have a higher chance of not only playing in the Champions League, but also getting a trophy at some point within mm. the next one or two seasons. Now, would you move if you were Aubameyang, Darius? If that's what was driving me to win something, then um, possibly, yeah. Arsenal don't look like a side who are going to you know, win major things very, very soon. Um, by giving Aubameyang what he wants, it's a sign that that's the direction that they're heading. But I'm thinking that there's one thing giving him that amount of money, but then that opens the doors to other players who might not be yeah. on that amount, who believe that they should be, to start singing the yeah. same hymns. Uh, it's a big decision. Yeah. Difficult. They, they had a similar situation, didn't they, with... Uh, Mesut Ozil with his contract mm. running down actually he's going to maybe leave on a free so they paid him huge money mm. and actually has he been value since mm. I don't think so I'm not comparing Ozil and Aubameyang as similar characters but that of course is yeah. one of the dangers that you face as a football club but I think one of the things to consider as well is his age because he's staying 31 this year so maybe on a personal level, you might want to think like, OK, I want to go, go somewhere to get something. And it might actually be good for Arsenal as a club as well, because who knows? We, we can't really tell if he's already hit his peak on that point. Yeah. Age-wise, I'd like to think that he's in his prime now. He's performing pretty well. He's in a very strong position um, in terms of... Uh, to be fair, he has a great injury record. Exactly. Despite. And his demands, you know, for money. He's come at the right time. He's got people working for him and he's probably timing it correctly. Um, but as you said, if his deep down goal and ambition is to go out of the game winning trophies and things of the like, then he's possibly not going to be at Arsenal, um, you know, soon. He, he might need to move to, to go and get that. Now, here's the thing, though. Everyone's comparing him to Thierry Henry like you did as well. Mm. Is, he, is he of more importance to this Arsenal side than Henry was to his side, which, let's face it, had a lot of world-class players? I'd say no. I'd no? say no. I think Henry was... Um, uh, gosh, I don't want to compare him directly, but we are. But um, it was a different class. It was a different yes. kettle of fish. OK, he had great players in the team playing with him. I understand that completely, but it was a completely different era. Football was a lot different. And I think Obama Young um, is replaceable, as you've described. Yeah. So, so if, if I had a choice of Aubameyang or Thierry Henry, I'd take Thierry Henry all day. Yep. But, but doesn't it say more about the quality that you have as a player, if you haven't got that service around you and you're still making something out of nothing and you don't have that service to feed off the ball off you as well. Yeah. Yes and no. Uh, I agree with... Uh, I, I agree that 
Thierry, Thierry Henry, the things that he did were, were beyond phenomenal. And it's not just about the service. Sometimes, you know, he'd be individually, you know, the, uh, the ability that he showed us on the pitch, it was in, in an individual base performance. Um, there is no comparison at this moment in time in, with regards to who's the better player, but I understand why we're looking at them both, because yeah. right now, Arsenal, um, the closest thing to Thierry Henry that they've got is Aubameyang. Yeah. Do, you, do you also question the longevity and the trophies as well that... Thierry Henry has got because yeah he's won a lot as yeah. they with Arsenal um, yeah and you don't forget his international ability as well um, the World Cups that he's gone to and, and, and performing at the big stage on the big stages um, Abami Yang is heading in the right direction certainly he's improved since he's came yeah. to the club um, there is a future for him there at Arsenal but if he wants to win something soon then it might be a good time to to go and get good wages at a, a different club.